Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the next episode of the Alternate series. It's still 1946. Tonight we look at the Alternate George Hallis Invitational as the losers of the league championships. What if they actually won their league championships and then met in the George Hallis Invitational? Why is it still the George Hallis Invitational, even though the Bears are not in it? Well, George Hallis was always instrumental in league proceedings, so I feel that even though the Bears lost, he would still host this Invitational in Chicago, Illinois. As the New York Giants take on the New York Yankees. The New York Giants <clears throat> of the NFL and the New York Yankees of the All-American Football Conference. So there's a look at the New York Yankees. Now, this was very hard to get numbers and everything lined up on the Yankees and Giants. A lot less pictures available than the Bears and Browns. So we're doing the best we can. Plus, the Yankees actually, uh, as most of you who've played Madden know, they're not available and you cannot create them. Also, the uniforms, well, let's just say I did the best I could. So suspend your disbelief and follow me into the past to Wrigley Field in Chicago, Illinois. The New York Giants in 1946 went 7-3-1, coached by Steve Owen. Well, the New York Yankees went 10-3-1, coached by Ray Flaherty. Flaherty. <clears throat> Captain's meeting at the middle of the field. It looks like the Yankees have won the toss. I'll do the best I can, like I did with the Bears and Browns game, at calling the action. However, since I don't have jersey numbers, we're really at the mercy of the computer giving us something here. Now, there's a look at Don McCafferty, future head coach of the Baltimore Colts of the New York Giants, back to return this kick, and Harvey Johnson will line up to kick it off. All right, so L3, speed slow, jump forward. All right, and we are underway here at the alternate series, alternate George Hallis Invitational as the Yankees kick off. It is, uh, the names don't pop up. I actually wonder if I can fix that. Hold on a second. See if there's something visually I can do. Problem is, is I forgot about that. There's a look at Dave Brown. No, you know, and I didn't even. It's taking a while to exit. <sighs> mm. You no, know, can't do anything about it. Not sure why Frank Filchok is not starting, but Dave Brown is in there. There's the give up the middle. He's taken by Bill Paschal. Right up the gut for a huge gainer. He and his fourth year out of Georgia Tech. Blitzing the Yankees for a first down. So out the 40 yard line as Brown comes up. Brown in his fourth year out of Alabama. He throws it out, it's complete. It is complete to Jim Lee Howell. 
10th year at Arkansas, future head coach of the Giants. Look at the line. Tex Coulter, Bob Dobelson, Chet Gladchuck, Lan Johnson. I missed one. Bill Paschal, John Doolin, the running backs. Home. <laughs> Howie Livingston was one of the receivers. As Brown hands off. There's a flag down. Paschal trying to get some yards, but dancing all over the place. And I assume the flag will probably be holding against the Giants. It is. Offense. Penalty against Frank Liebel. It'll be second down, or first, yeah, no, second down and 15. Brown going to throw. He throws deep. It is caught. <clears throat> That's Brown's second completion of the day. And the completion is to Jim Lee Howell. Harvey Johnson on the tackle. First down and 10 into Yankee territory at the 47. Brown misses his man. I look at the Jets, the Yankees defensive line, Nate Johnson, Mel Conger, and Henry Stanton up front. Linebackers, Jack Baldwin, Harvey Johnson, Lou Sossman, and Bob Masterson. And the secondary, Bruce Alford, Speck Sanders, Eddie Prokop, and Lowell Wagner. It is second down and 10 after the five yard gain. No, that was incomplete. Brown looking, he throws. Incomplete. Is it intercepted? It is. It's intercepted by Speck Sanders, the quarterback of the Yankees, also plays deep safety. He picks off the deflection, and Brown, who got the start today, over. Frank Filchok showing that it must have been a mistake, or might have been a mistake. So the Yankees take the ball now. Sanders back to pass. He throws incomplete stone hands. It was right in his hands. Bad place to hit him, evidently. It'll be second down and 10 now for the Yankees at the 36-yard line. Sanders looking over the defense. He fakes the handoff. Throws. It is caught for the first down. It's complete to Lou Wagner. Lowell Wagner, the rookie out of USC. First down and 10 into Giant territory at the 47. Sanders throws, it is complete. to Bruce Alford and a look at the pass Alford, a rookie out of TCU a lot of rookies on the Yankees of course it's the first year for the All-American Football Conference so they had to build their team somehow <clears throat> Sanders hands the ball off it dives ahead for the first down that is Bob Kennedy the rookie out of Washington State and it'll be first down and 10 at the Giant 37 Sanders almost intercepted. The Giants had a chance of picking it off, but it was not to be. Second down and 10 now. Sanders looking to scramble. He's going to sidearm it out of bounds. It'll be incomplete. And it'll bring up a third down and 10. Sanders starting off two for five. Yankees trying to convert on the game's first turnover. Sanders looking to throw again. Throws is complete over the middle. Complete to big number 79. That's Bob Masterson. Ninth year player out of Miami, Florida, the former Chicago Bear. 
and he took a heck of a shot by Frank Reagan, but he held on and gets the first down. Sanders hands the ball off. Good hole. Bob Kennedy picks up a few, picks up four. Tuttle on the tackle for the Giants. The Orville Tuttle. Excuse me, second down and six now as we approach ten minutes to go in the first quarter. Sanders looking to throw. It's complete. Complete to Norm Johnson. And he's going to pick up about four yards. It'll be third down and two. Nate Johnson, the rookie out of Illinois. And my apologies to the Johnson family. Third down and two. Sanders looking to throw over the middle, incomplete. And it'll be fourth down and two, and on will come the field goal kicker for the Yankees. It should be Harvey Johnson. Looking for a 35-yard kick to take the early lead. And Johnson's kick is good. And a little swagger walking off the field there as the Yankees lead three to nothing. A three run homer by Harvey Johnson. Yankees and Giants are to meet in the World Series back in 46, but the Super Bowl. And the kick is in the end zone and it will not be brought out. Dave Brown still in there. Two for four the first drive, 22 yards. If I could figure out how to switch it myself, I would, but... Actually, there might be a way. We'll just see if... There must be a way, because I've seen... Uh, haven't I seen Phantom do it? Johnson hands off to Paschal. Paschal picks up another two yards. Harvey Johnson on the tackle. He's everywhere. Plays both ways, plus does the kicking and the punting. Second down and eight now. Hand off to Paschal again. Paschal breaks one tackle. He's going to get up to the 33-yard line. Picks up another six yards. It's third down and two. Brown hands off to Paschal. Paschal bulldozes his way for the first down, picking up seven yards and dragging a member of the New York Yankees defense along with him. Number 96. Looks like Stanton. Stanton, maybe? Henry Stanton dragged him along. Rookie out of Arizona. Now, if you're wondering about Dave Brown, he said, yeah, I remember watching Dave Brown in the 90s. Why is he quarter? There were two different Dave Browns. I don't know what number he wore. I couldn't find it. That's why he's in 17. Paschal to the outside. He gets one yard. He's not supposed to be starting. I forgot how I would check the lineups from both teams. So, I apologize. If, uh... I think after this drive, I will insert, um, Phil Chalk. And that's actually not a, not, like an unheard of thing back then to switch quarterbacks randomly so Brown throws floats it yeah especially after the interception it's it is intercepted and he could go no he is going to be caught and tackled Bruce Alford with the interception and brings it all the way back to the giant 25 yard line Okay. There we go. That's how you do it. Okay. L3. There, that should be better. So, after the second interception, Brown will be benched. Phil Chalk will come in. 
Sanders under center at the 25 as he sells, sends Mel Conger in motion. Hands off to Alford. Just had the interception. No, I'm sorry, Bob Kennedy. Bob Kennedy picks up the first down 12 yard gain. It'll be first and 10 from the 13 for the Yankees. Kennedy goes in motion this time. Nobody in the backfield for Sanders. Throws it. It's complete. Complete for gain of five yards to Bruce Alford. It'll be second down and five. What a missed tackle there by Eddie Prokop. He shakes free and picks up the three yards after the initial tackle went all right. It'll be third down and two. Sanders throws into the end zone. It is caught, and it's a touchdown. Perina for the Yankees. That would be Bob Perina, the rookie out of Princeton. Showed his impressive IQ, holding his feet in bounds for the touchdown. Dragging the toes. They are going to review it because that was a thing in 1946 before there were even TVs in the house. There's an official TV schedule listed until 1948. But hey, instant replay was a thing in the George Hallis Invitational. And they're going to say it's good, and Harvey Johnson will line up for the extra points. The two interceptions have destroyed the Giants. And Johnson's interception is good as the Yankees convert 10 points off the interceptions. So Johnson will kick off now to, with five minutes to go in the first quarter. He's going to be taken on the goal line. And he's going to get to the 25, 24 officially. That was Don McCafferty on the return. And Frank Filchok has come in to take the place of Dave Brown after the two interceptions. So Brown got the start for an unknown reason, <clears throat> and now Phil Chuck is in there. He's going to start from this shotgun. Throws a rifle pass complete. Ten-yard gain and a first down to Jim Lee Howell. Just what the doctor ordered for the New York football giants. And that was the thing back then. They actually had to say that. Same with the New York football Yankees. As both also existed in baseball. Paschal on the handoff. He's going to get up to 42 in a seven yard gain. Six carries early on for 38 yards for the Giants. Harvey Johnson, another tackle. Filchok hands it off. Paschal again. He busts his way forward for the first down. Seven carries, 43 yards. Kilchuk in the shotgun. He fakes the handoff. Fashel picks up two men on the blitz and completes the pass for the first down. Oh, and he's yanked down. <clears throat> A gain of 16. And Gorgone. Pete Gorgone, the rookie out of Mullenberg, picks up the first down. <clears throat> Set, 
Manning hands it off to Paschal. Paschal spinning away from one man, gets through, picks up five yards and a first down. Not, not a first down, on first down. Eddie Prokop hits the extra point. What am I talking about? Eddie Prokop with a tackle. Wow. You'd think I was broadcasting for Botchamania. Paschal on the carry. He sideswipes one man, spins away from another, but is only going to pick up three yards. And it's third down and two. <clears throat> Filchuk back to pass. He threw almost intercepted. Well, that was his first mistake. He had the Giants moving, but now they will line up for a 46-yard field goal attempt. And the kick is good. And then the kickoff into the end zone, bringing it out. He's not going to get to the 25. 23 yard return. That was Ken Strong on the long 46 yard field goal, by the way. The Hall of Famer. The Yankees have a couple on their bench. They have Ace Parker. They have a uh, backup quarterback. There's the pass complete from Speck Sanders to number 61. Not sure who. Bob Morrow. Six-year player out of Illinois Wesleyan. Second down and four up to 28. Oh, busting through the middle. Bob Kennedy had no chance on that one. As Kyle Lundy makes the tackle in the backfield. Third down and nine. For the Yankees. Sanders looking to run, steps up, and it is he's going to be tackled again by Lundy. That's two tackles in a row, this time a sack. And on fourth and 15, the Yankees will have to punt it away. <clears throat> High driving punt. Going to go all the way back to the 15. And that's where McCafferty will attempt to bring it out. He'll get to the 20. We have reached the end of the first quarter with a score of the New York Yankees 10, the New York Giants 3. On this battle of New York from Chicago's Wrigley Field. The Subway George House Invitational. Phil Chuck completes. That's a fumble. It bounces around and it is picked up by Speck Sanders, the quarterback helping his own cause. Looked like Jim Poole on the reception and fumble. And then Sanders recovered it. And that is the third Giants turnover. Sanders hands the ball. Oh, in instead of spinning, he had... Prokop had a huge hole, but he spun. And he actually kept caught... Uh, cost himself the first down. Now you might ask, why are these guys wearing numbers in the 70s and 60s and carrying the ball? Well, back in the 40s, that's the way the ball field was. If they're wearing an odd number, like a single digit running back or a 40 quarterback, I probably found a picture of them and that's the right number. Uh, at least on offense. On defense, I might have just left it alone or if I needed a number. But Sanders fakes the handoff this time to Kennedy. Kennedy! Sanders rolling. Throws incomplete. Overthrows his man. And Filippowitz on the cover. Coverage. Steve Filippowitz, second year player out of Fordham. On third down and two, Sanders is under center. He's got one man in the backfield. He's going to get it. That's Bob Kennedy. And Kennedy is not going to be make it past the 30. He 
He's going to be stuffed right there. <clears throat> and there he is, K.O. Lundy again. That's his third tackle as he's becoming a star. And now Harvey Johnson's on to attempt a 47-yard field goal. The kick is long enough. And it's good. And the Yankees have taken a 13-3 a lead here in the second quarter. That's number 81 bringing it out. Gets out to the 27-yard line. And the Yankees will come out. The Yankee defense has been all over the place. Three turnovers. First and 10 from the 27 as Phil Chuck is in the shotgun. He fakes the handoff. Throws it on a swing pass out to Jim Lee Howell, who is then immediately buried after a pickup of three. As soon as Howell turned around, there was a man in his face. It'll be second down and seven. <coughs> that is Howell's fourth reception, however. Lowell Wagner on the tackle. Filchuk throws it over the middle. And he's going to get only a yard. Filchok led the man right into the defensive line. Howie Livingston on the reception. Henry Stanton with the tackle. So it's third down and six now. <clears throat> Filchok looking, 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 looking. He throws over the middle. He's got the first down. And the one bright spot so far for the Giants has been the the running of Bill Paschal. Bill Paschal, the fourth year player out of Georgia Tech. On first and 10, Paschal's gonna get the carry. He's got the corner, but he's only gonna get a yard before he is caught by Bob Kennedy, running back on running back there. Giants in the hurry up, hurrying the line. Pash, or Filchok gonna slow him down a little bit though. There's the give to Paschal right up the middle and Paschal's gonna dive forward for two yards. Before he is hit and brought down by Harvey Johnson. I'm trying to remember old Harvey Johnson's number is not easy. Numbers, not easy. Third down and eight, Yankees showing blitz. And here they come. It's picked up. Filchok throws it out of bounds. It's his second incompletion of the afternoon and then a fourth down and the Giants are going to have to punt. This one's a high punt. It's going to bounce at the five and it's a great bounce. It's going to lay dead at the five yard line. Frank Reagan, tremendous punt. A presidential punt for Reagan. First down and 10 for Speck Sanders from the five yard line. Eddie Prokop takes the ball, and gets up to 11, a gain of seven. Second down and three now as we approach 10 minutes to go in that first half. Sanders hands it off again. This time a huge first down run by a new running back. Harry Burris, a rookie out of Harden-Simmons. First and 10 from the 23. Sanders fakes the handoff. Throws most intercepted. Almost intercepted. Second down and 10. Sanders looking to throw, throws it. It is caught for the first down. First 
first and ten now from the 34. Sanders hands off. This is going to be Prokop. Prokop's going to pick up three yards on the carry. Wagner comes in motion as Sanders is back to pass. He's got an open man. Bruce Alford, huge pickup. 30-yard <clears throat> gain. And that's Alford's third reception of the day. Bruce Alford, rookie out of TCU. He was also drafted by the Phil Pitt Steagles. Back in 43, but he did not play. Had to go to war. Bob Kennedy on the carry. He signed with the New York Yankees this season. Pete Gorgon on the tackle. It is second down and seven. The Yankees are really looking to put away the Giants. Kennedy. Kennedy fights his way forward for about four yards. It'll be third down and three as Steve Filipowicz makes the tackle. But if I had been a betting man in these alternate Super Bowls, I would have said that the Browns would win the re regular one and the Giants the alternate one. Sanders throws it complete. But so far, and they're going to line up for a field goal on fourth and five. Harvey Johnson looking for a 45-yard field goal will be his third of the afternoon. And the kick is good. It's 16-3 to three now. The result of this game will dictate the next alternate game played. If the Yankees win, we will go alternate A, meaning All-American Football Conference, and we'll have the Bears versus the Yankees next. If the Giants win, it'll be an NFL sweep, and thus we would go with the Browns and Giants in the next one and save the Bears for last, Bears and Yankees. Not that there's records being kept. These are four individually different universes. And off, and he is gonna lose a yard. Second down and 11. Fashel on to give on the draw. It's gonna be close. He picks up 10. They're gonna say third and inches, and the Giants rush to the line. Philchok in the shotgun. He hands it off to Paschal. Paschal's got the first down, jumps over a man, fights his way ahead for seven yards. He's up to 69 on the day with 4.20 to go. In the first half, the Giants need to score. The Yankees did receive the ball first, so the Giants will get it in the second half. Vilchuk throws, it's complete. It is complete to Jim Poole. That's the Yankees. Yes, Jim Poole, who held on this time. He did not hold on last time. Different runner this time. It is George Frank, the six-year back out of Minnesota on the carry. Bruce Alford makes the tackle. Filchuk all alone in the backfield. He's going to throw. He's caught to Jim Lee Howell for a first down. First down and 10 as we're nearing the two-minute warning. The Giants have a perfect 15-15 run pass. Howell, five receptions, 48 yards. 
Vilcha gives to Paschal. Huge hole. Paschal right up the middle. He's going to get all the way down to the three-yard line. A 14-yard gain as there were no Yankees in sight. Paschal now has 83 yards on the day. And we have hit the two-minute warning here in Chicago as the New York Yankees lead the New York Giants 16-3. First and goal for the Giants. Filchok looking, looking, throw, steps up, it is caught. He holds on for the touchdown. <clears throat> Howie Livingston on the reception. And the extra point is converted, and the Giants by Ken Strong. And the Giants have cut the lead to Yankees 16, Giants 10. Ken Strong in his 18th season out of NYU. He was playing in the 20s. Strong kicks it off. It's in the end zone. He's bringing it out. A 25-yard return by Pug Manders. Former Brooklyn Dodger, eighth season out of Drake. <laughs> Sanders in the shotgun. He's back to pass. Sets up a screen. He's caught immediately, and as soon as he turns around, he is hit and dropped for a loss of two. Henry Burris, or Harry Burris. Harry Burris on the reception. Henry Burris played for the Bills in the 90s. Sanders throws, almost intercepted. That was a dangerous pass from the get-go. And it almost probably should have been picked off. The Yankees have 18 pass plays and 12 rush. They're down 12. Sanders on the draw. And the Yankees are going to take a timeout. It'll be fourth down and six. Or the Giants take a timeout. I'm sorry. Fourth down and six. As Harvey Johnson punts. It's going to bounce at the one and go into the end zone. And that is where the Giants will bring it up to the 20. Spec, I'm sorry. Spec Sanders is the punter for the Yankees. <clears throat> so with 1.22 to go before half. Pass to complete to Jim Lee Howell, and Howell's got some yards to gain. He gets 24 on the reception and gets out of bounds to stop the clock. It'll be first down and 10. Screen pass is knocked away. Swiger on the coverage. Bob Swiger, rookie out of Minnesota. Second down to 10 with a minute 14 to go before half. Phil Chuck throwing deep. Yeah, that good coverage deep. Third down and 10. Every now and then you got to take a shot, right? Vilchuk throws it to the flat. And a timeout is taken by the Yankees. It was a one-yard gain to set up a fourth down and nine. And C.C. Hare made the reception. The six-year player out of Gonzaga. So we got a, a guy from a basketball school playing against a baseball team. And this punt's going to bounce at the one, two, and go into the end zone. The Yankees will bring it out. As Frank Reagan's punt this time didn't have the bounce. Now, Speck Sanders is in the shotgun. He 
He's back to pass. Throws over the middle. He's going to pick up a yard. Well, they're going to say he's tackled at the 1, or at the 20. Second down and 10. Not sure why the clock. Oh, incomplete. That's why, though. Second down and 10. Sanders looking to throw. He's got a man. He's got a huge first down. All the way up to the Giants 47 yard line. And a second timeout taken by the Yankees. I don't know why. They thought they got out of bounds. Bob Morrill on that reception. Sanders looking to throw. Throws over the middle. It's complete to Bruce Alford, and he's going to get inside the 20. And with the clock running, the Yankees are lining up. It'll be first and 10 from the 20. Sanders looking to throw. Throws it toward the end zone. Almost intercepted. That was a dangerous pass. There's been a couple Sanders gotten away with that the Giants should have picked off but didn't. 18 seconds to go before half. Sanders setting up the screen. It's taken. He's going to get Bulls his way into the end zone. A touchdown for the New York Yankees. Harry Burris. And Johnson's extra point makes it 23-10. <clears throat> and their turn gets them just to the 25. So with eight seconds left, what will the Giants do? Down by 13. Phil Scott going to line up under center. They're going to hand out the Paschal and just get to the halftime. So we reached the end of the first half. A long first half. If you've got made it this far on the replay, because obviously nobody's watching live, thank you. The New York Giants lead the New York Yankees. Or I'm sorry, the New York Yankees lead the New York Giants 23-10. And I was wrong. It's the Yankees that received the second half kick. Oh, that's right. The interception on the first drive by Dave Brown. So it'll be brought out to the 25. And Speck Sanders comes back on the field. The yardage is almost even. The Yankees have three more yards than the Giants. Lead passing by a lot. Trailer running. Sanders looking to throw. He's got Alford. Alford makes another big reception. Gets out to the 26 to 21 yard gain. Alfred has five receptions for 91 yards. Pete Gorgone on the tackle. Sanders throws, there's a flag. And if it's against the Yankees, it's gonna negate a huge, huge play. And it'll be holding against the Yankees. Roman Piscor. Offensive lineman. It's first down and 20 back to the 36 yard line now. Sanders overthrows him over the middle. Sanders 15 to 25, 193 yards, two touchdowns on the day. Second down and 20. Giants showing a blitz. There's the give to number 29. And Lundy makes the tackle. Harry Burris picks up 11 yards. It's be third down and nine. Kyle Lundy on the tackle. Sanders floats it toward the sideline. He's got a man, but it will not be a first down. So fourth down, and the Yankees will punt. And the punt goes out of bounds at the 24. Not a very good punt for Sanders. Not sure why Sanders is wearing. I guess all the long sleeves are. Okay, never mind. Now, 
Filchok throws. It's complete. Howie Livingston, and he picks up the first down and gets up to the 42-yard line. Trailing by 13. There's still plenty of time left if you're a Giants fan. Paschal on the carry. He is going to get nine yards. He's up to 94 for the day. Anybody else notice in Madden 19 that running backs seem to run upright and slow? I'm sure they people have noticed, but maybe it's just me. I don't know. Lloyd Cheatham on that last tackle. This pass by um, Kilchock incomplete, third and inches. They give the, the draw play to Paschal, and he's going to lose three yards. Fourth down and three, and the Giants will have to punt. Reagan gets a punt off. It's headed toward the left end of the field. It's going to go out of bounds at the 13. So that's the second inside the 20 punt. And the Yankees take over, leading by 13 with 11.20 to go in the third. The Giants just can't get anything going. This is Burris on the carry again. I haven't seen Kennedy or um, the other guy in a while. Not sure what's going on. Sanders looking to throw. Throws a quick slant. It's going to get the first down. Frank on the tackle on that last play. First and 10 up to 26. It is midnight on the East Coast. You're watching the Vinnyx Wolf Channel, home, one fourth home of Sack to the Future, one half home of Blast from the Past, home of the alternate series, and more recently home to the NMWA and WWCA alternate universe. I'm Vinny Vincent. Thanks for joining us. It is second and five. Sanders gives the handoff. There's a flag down as Harry Burris takes it across with the first down. Personal foul, face mask, defense. Well, they get Emery Nix on the face mask, and it moves the Yankees into giant territory at the 48. Sanders looking to throw again. It's intercepted. Threw it right to him. Phil Regazzo, the ninth year player out of Case Western Reserve, gets an easy interception, and that's the first turnover by the Yankees. First and 10 for Phil Chalk from the 45 yard line. Give to Paschal. Paschal is going to fight his way to the 49. He's got 97 on the day. We just saw a look at Steve Owen. Checking on things, the head coach. Paschal again. This time he's met at the 50. So after a yard pickup, he is slammed to the turf. Harvey Johnson on the tackle. Filchok back to pass. Throws it over the middle. It is complete to Jim Lee Howell. And a first down at the 33. Nice big run by Filchok. Or Paschal, I'm sorry. Picks up seven. Second down and three. Eddie Prokop on the tackle. That was the other running back I was, names I was looking for. Filchok fakes the handoff. Calmly throws the pass to Howell down to the five yard line. Jim Lee Howell, eight receptions, 110 yards.
Bruce Alfred on the tackle. Paschal picks the handoff, throws to the end zone. It's intercepted. And he is going to keep it in the end zone. Eddie Prokop with the interception and the fourth turnover for the Yankees today. Ball comes out to the 20 where Speck Sanders will take over. Mel Conger comes in motion. And straight up the middle goes Bob Kennedy. His first carry in a couple series. He has 31 yards. Second and five. Sanders throws a completed pass. Fumble. And the Yankees are able to get on it. Luck is with the Yankees on that one. As Alfred caught the pass but fumbled, although it kind of looked like he might have been down. But the Yankees will keep the ball. First and ten. Phil Regazzo on the tackle. <clears throat> to give us to Burris. He's got six carries for 37 yards. Second down and nine. Sanders back to pass. Throws it to Alfred. Alfred picks up a yard. It'll be third down and eight. That's his seventh reception. He's got 101 yards on the afternoon for the Yankees. Sanders in the shotgun. Third down and eight. If you're just joining us, the New York Yankees lead the New York Giants in this alternate George Hallis Invitational from 1946. Sanders going deep. Jumps in front and almost intercepts it. The Giants, that was Howie Livingston. The Giants have turned the ball over four times. And have had to switch quarterbacks. Johnson, or Sanders, gets the punt away. It is taking, going to bounce in the end zone. And the New York Giants, with 3.57 to go in the third, trailing 23-10. They need to, to stop turning the ball over and get the touchdown. Frank Filchok in the shotgun for the Giants offense. Bill Paschal on the carry. He's going to pick up three. The Giants have hit 300 total yards now as Bob Kennedy makes the tackle. Second down and seven. Filchok throws almost intercepted. Harvey Johnson. It's been everywhere today. Kicking field goals. <clears throat> playing offense, playing defense. Fulchuk throws. It's complete to Jim Lee Howell. They're going to get the first down and continue the drive. Up to the 39-yard line. That's Howell's ninth reception for 126 yards. Paschal gets the ball. He's got huge hole. First down, 12 yards on the carry. He's got 119 on the afternoon. Bob Kennedy makes the tackle. Bob Kennedy does the honors. First and ten. Phil Chalk looking, throws. This complete this time to Jim Poole. Hello. Welcome to the broadcast, Shane. First and ten for the Giants on that reception by Jim Poole. He holds on. Fumbled his first reception. Phil Chalk is going to give it to Bill Paschal. Paschal's going to get two. He's got 121 yards so far. Harvey Johnson on the tackle. If they were to award MVPs on every who has the same name, Johnson might be in the running for the New York Titans. Three field goals, a lot of six tackles. Phil Chalk hands it off to, to Doolin. That would be John Doolin, the second-year player out of Georgetown. 
What's up, Alpha King? Welcome to the broadcast. You're watching the 1946 alternate series. Alternate George Hallis Invitational. What if the teams from the NFL played the double AFC? These are the two runners up. That's why it's the alternate. Phil Chalk overthrows his man. And now the Giants are facing another fourth down. And they're going to line up for a 51-yard field goal by the 18th-year player, Ken Strong. It's quiet. The kick is got the distance, and it's good. So the Giants, Ken Strong, hits a 51-yard field goal. And the Giants have cut the Yankees' lead to 23-10 with 24 seconds to go in the third. Coming out of the end zone. Well, got a beat on it, and he gets to the 26. So he picked up a yard by bringing it out. This is, uh, oh, not always watching, so I guess it don't matter. 1946 rosters in modern football. Spec Sanders, 19 of 31, 219 yards, two touchdowns, one interception. Of course, on YouTube, I could have 40 people watching. You never know the way YouTube works. Sanders going to throw. He sets up. He's got the completion of Bruce Alford. All the way up to 49, a 23-yard gain. Yankees trying to hurry up and get the snap off before the gun sounds. But they won't. So we have reached the end of three here in Chicago's Wrigley Field as the New York Yankees lead the New York Giants 23-13. Yeah, I see you're still here. Did... YouTube, I don't know what's wrong with their algorithms or whatever. They're showing me zero viewers, but whatever. Sanders throws a deep pass. It's complete to number 31. Every time 31 catches the ball, they, they don't show me who it is. Wagner. Lowell Wagner on the reception. And the Yankees have a first down at the 21. Sanders looking to throw. Throws over the middle. Complete. Harvey. Oh. Eddie. No, 79. Ah, I missed it. It's complete. So if you are watching, who do you think is going to win? Who do you want to win? you want the Yankees to hold on or the Giants to come back? Sanders. Hands the ball off to Harry Burris. Burris trying to get free, but he picks up three. He can't get away from the giant tackler. That being Phil Orgazzo. That's six tackles already. Second and goal from the six. Sanders in the shotgun. Gives the ball on the handoff to Harry Burris. Gets down to the one-yard line, a five-yard gain. Burris has 45 as the Yankees have been doing it by running back by committee. Pete Gorgon on the tackle. It is third and goal from the one. Alfred lining up tight end on the right. He's been the favorite target of Sanders today. Sanders looking to throw. He takes off running. He's got wide open to the end zone. Incomplete, however. Knocked away. And that will bring on Harvey Johnson to try to get the lead back to 13. Harvey Johnson will line up for an 18-yard field goal. No question about that one. And it's 26-13 to 13 as the Yankees have doubled up the Giants' score. 12.42 to go in the game. Johnson kicks the ball away. He's taken in the, in the end zone. He's going to bring it out. Gets out to the 22-yard line. First down and 10. Giants dominating the rushing yards, but not on the scoreboard. Phil Chalk looking to throw now, setting up a screen to Paschal. Paschal's got a blocker, but nope, he didn't get there quick enough. Pick up a five. And a second down and five. Now to the 27 yard line. Uh, 
Vilchok throws. Incomplete looking for Paschal. Tight coverage by Harvey Johnson. Third down and five. Filchok looking, throws it complete to Paschal, and he is slammed to the turf. They will not get the first down, and we'll have to punt again. Reagan gets a nice punt off. It's going to be taken to the 21. He's got some early blocks. Oh, but he is tackled down. That's Pug Manders on the return. And here comes Speck Sanders, 22 of 35, 284 yards, two touchdowns, one interception. But you got to think at this point, the Yankees are going to try and run the clock. And start at their own 33. Yep, there's a the handoff up the middle. Bob Kennedy, that's his 10th carry for 37 yards. That was six. The Yankees are over 100 yards now running. This time it's Harry Burris. Burris picks up two more yards. I have such an utter dislike for the New York Yankees baseball team that this game is absolutely depressing to me. Just because they're the Yankees. Of course, the Jets had feel the same way. Sanders throws. It's complete. First down. Bob Masterson on the reception. That was his third of the ball game. George Frank on the tackle. Sanders fakes the handoff. He throws over the middle. This one's complete again. Complete to number 31 as the entire Giants sideline does everything in unison. Lowell Wagner on the reception. 37 pass plays for the Yankees. 23 run, running plays. Bob Kennedy gets the carry. Big number 99 goes forward for about three yards. Well, did you manage? Uh, so you don't care wins. Did you see the um, the Bears and Browns version of the alternate 46 championship game invitational? Second down and seven. Sanders looking around, dancing. He is going to get hit and dropped by... Kale Lundy, that's his second sack today. He's not really doing the Giants much good, though. They're down. Okay, well, it's on the playlist. It's on the, the alternate Super Bowl playlist. I kept the whole playlist just because I rebooted the series. Sanders throws over the to the sideline. It is caught by Alfred. He breaks one tackle, but then is hit and dropped before he gets the first down. It'll be fourth and three. So Harvey Johnson now line up for his fifth field goal of the afternoon. This one from 44 yards out. And the kick is good. And for five field goals, Harvey Johnson's got to be in contention for the MVP as the New York Yankees have taken a 29-13 lead. The way the new alternate series is going to work, <clears throat> there's four games to an alternate series. There is the real-life one. Now, of course, when you're talking double AFC versus NFL and the first six years of AFL-NFL, real-life one is is also a, a dream matchup because it didn't happen. But they're the two teams that won the championship. Then you have the alternate, the two teams that lost the championship. That's what you're watching right now. Then you have the alternate A, either double AFC or AFL, the team, or AFC, the team that lost against the team from the NFL that, or NFC that won. Alternate N is reverse, the loser of the NFC versus the winner of the a double AFC, AFL, AFC. Filchok completes the pass. He has over 200 yards passing now. The Yankees are trying to aggressively strip the ball. Jim Lee Howell with his 10th reception, setting records early on. A lot of pass plays. Not something if you're if you're a Pierce for the 40s, you really want to see. But Paschal's got 131 yards rushing. But as I always say, we are playing modern football with historic rosters. Not much we can do about that. Filchok is going to go down. He is going to be sacked by Baldwin. Jack Baldwin, the rookie out of Centenary. It'll be second down and 12. Filchok looking. He throws it out into the flat to Paschal. And Paschal is dropped. It is a loss of three. 
Sounds confusing if there's four games. Just make sure you know which one you're watching at the time. This one's the alternate. Follow the playlist. Pass is complete to Livingston. I presume. Howie Livingston. Fourth reception. Fourth down and four, and the Giants are going to have to go for it, trailing by two scores. Two scores and two two-point conversions with 4.48 to go in the game. Filchok throws. It's caught, but where are they going to mark it? They're going to say first down for the Giants. First down for the Giants. They gave him the uh, where his feet were on the reception, not necessarily where the ball was. 4.14 to go. Filchok hands off to Paschal. No, that's not Paschal. That is number 20, George Frank. He picks up the first down. <clears throat> As they crossed up the Yankees defense, down to the 35. Time is ticking, though. They need to get two scores and two two-point conversions and 3.37 to go. Filchok throws it out. It's caught by Jim Lee Howell. Flag down. That's probably going to be a face mask to accompany the first down reception. Which should put the Giants down around the 20-yard line. The face mask is called on Lowell Wagner. First and 10 at the 12. Wow. Oh, because the line of scrimmage is the 35, not the tackle. Never mind. Okay, Phil Chalk. The blitz is picked up, and Phil Chalk completes the pass down to the five-yard line. Completes it to Pete Gorgon in his second reception. This way, you know that if the uh, team you like, like the Cowboys or Raiders, are in a, were in the conference championship or league championship that year, Paschal on the carry, you're going to get to see them in twice. Paschal fumbles, and the Yankees have recovered. And ladies and gentlemen, that should just about seal this version of the 1946 George Hallis Invitational, as that was the fifth giant turnover. Never say never. I mean, the Giants still have three turnover, three timeouts, and on, the Yankees are on a three. Larry Cheatham. Sorry, Lloyd Cheatham on the carry. Picks up a yard. It's second down and nine. Lloyd Cheatham is like the fifth different Yankee to carry the ball. They've done a good job of, of changing it up. This time right up to the fullback. Cheatham again. He picks up five. Third down and five. It should actually take us a two-minute warning. The Giants are holding on to their timeouts. And we reach the two-minute warning here in Chicago with the New York Yankees leading the New York Giants 29-13. to Third down and five with a handoff. And the Giants will use their first timeout. Three-yard gain. It'll bring up a fourth down by Kale Lundy. Gets the seventh tackle of the day. Sanders to punt. Nice punt. Taken all the way back at the 27-yard line. And as uh, Don McCafferty brings it out to the 36. Frank Filchok has got a minute 49 to score two times and get both two-point conversions. And they are 64 yards away from the first one. They have two timeouts. Pass complete over the middle. And there's a flag down. Let's see what this flag is. It's the clock stops on the flag. Another face mask. This time it's on Bob Kennedy. It'll put the Giants into Yankee territory. So they're up to the 40 now. Screen pass. Complete to Paschal. Paschal's got nothing left. He's been driving the Giants all day long. Over 130 yards rushing. And that was his fifth reception. But he's just about on empty. Jack Baldwin on the tackle. 
Vilchuk throws it, intercepted. And this one's going to be a, might be a pick six. Oh, he will be tackled. Bruce Alford with a second interception to go along with his seven receptions on offense. And the sixth giant turnover. Sanders still in the shotgun, leading by 16, but the Giants still have two timeouts, so it is a draw play. It is to Harry Burris, and Burris picks up five, and the Giants will burn a timeout. It's the starting Dave Brown. He threw two quick interceptions. Frank Filchok comes in for the Giants. Throws two more, plus two fumbles, one by Jim Poole, one by Bill Paschal. Second down and five for the Yankees. Swings it out in the flat. Makes a man miss. And a timeout taken. Third down and one. Give you a little channel update. Sack to the future should get back up and running probably, if not tomorrow night, the night after. We're just waiting on guys to commit to their schedules. We have uh, nine games coming your way for week 12. Uh, if you've been following the new wrestling stuff, the MWA, the Memorial Wrestling Association, will be back tomorrow with another, with the fourth match in the Met Stadium Series show. Harry Burris gets the first down. The Giants cannot call timeout anymore, so the Yankees should just kneel on it and end the game. Also, uh, the WWCA, four different um, eras, alternating matches, depending on what's ready to go. The 1979 era, the father era, as I will be calling it. We'll start tomorrow as the first matchup in the WWCA Championship Tournament, World's Championship Tournament, as Liquid Shano will take on Bronze Williams. We had a, a differing of reality in the first matchup in 1950. Let's see if uh, 1979 goes the same way. The New York Yankees have won the alternate 1946 George House Invitational. So coming your way tomorrow night will be the alternate A as the two teams that have won will battle in the alternate A, meaning, and I will I will try to keep this as less confusing as I can, the alternate A, meaning the double AFC runner-up will take on the NFL champion. The New York Yankees will battle the Chicago Bears tomorrow night on this channel. So three things coming your way tomorrow. Make sure you check them out. And stay tuned for more Sack to the Future. Make sure you subscribe. If you haven't already, click like, share, tell your friends, tell your brother. I am your brother. Uh, for you, Shane, I am your brother, so don't tell me. I know about it. Anyway, looking at the highlights here, that's the touchdown to Livingston for the Giants. Sanders completes that pass to Perina for a touchdown. Harry Burris pulls his way into the end zone. And there you're going to say Bruce Alford is the MVP. Two interceptions on defense, seven receptions on offense. A well-deserved MVP. It could have gone to Harvey Johnson, too, who kicked five field goals, plus had six tackles. But Bruce Alford is the deserving MVP. Bob Kennedy, Speck Sanders, Bob Masterson celebrating. Alongside head coach Ray Flaherty. And then uh, the alternate end Super Bowl will come your way as soon as I can get it. It's on the schedule as well. But tomorrow night, the Bears and Yankees from Wrigley Field in Chicago. So thanks for joining us. Until next time, I'm Vinny Vincent. You've been watching the alternate series. And have a good night.